Hey guys, we're here with our IBA Season 3 Week 3 matchup taken on the Houston Hardens and their coach Ash. Ash will be in the description below, so make sure you guys go check him out. But real quick, we will go over the team that he decided to bring and briefly go over the team that I brought as well. He decided to bring his Infernape, Electros, Scolipede, Gliscor, Hoopa Unbound, and Mega Aerodactyl. Not coming for him are Shaman, Slowking, Comfe, Komala, and Escavalier. My team this week is Defensive Skarmory. Um, offensive Alolan Persian, Offensive Bulkyish Manaphy, Offensive Zerkatry, Defensive Don Fan, and a uh, Offensive Dragon Dancing Charizard X. Not coming for me this week are Decidueye, Cresselia, Deonsi, Swellow, and Hariyama. Uh, after this week, we will be able to go over the team a little bit more in depth. This is our final divisional matchup, so um, I feel like I can go over the team a lot better knowing that I my future opponents I don't have to play again unless I meet them in playoffs, in which case I can't control that and I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so, looking at his team, Alolan Persian outspeeds literally everything except that uh, Mega Aerodactyl, which I don't think Mega Aerodactyl would be his lead. I feel like it's a really good offensive presence versus my team and he, he wouldn't want to risk it early, especially if I led something like Manaphy or Zerkatree that he can't really do a whole lot about me leading. So, I'm going to go ahead and do just that. Lead off with Alolan Persian. Um, I am on slow, right? Why'd they get sent out so fast? Okay, geez. Um, he's going to lead off with his Infernape and click U-turn. That does reveal to me that he is Scarf because I did uh, speed invest very heavily into this Alolan Persian. As I just U-turn myself, um, he decides to go into his Electros, and I decide to go into my Charizard. Now, knowing I can take virtually any hit from this Electros, I'm going to go ahead and set up a Dragon Dance and just do some massive damage to this uh, Electros. But he does make the smart play and decides to Volt Switch out. And he goes into his Gliscor. Now, if his Gliscor was invested correctly, he could take uh, a plus one hit, and I didn't want to risk that, losing my Charizard so early. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Skarmory, predicting an Earthquake, but he makes that uh, prediction and sets up rocks. Now, all I'm going to do is just set up rocks back to him. As he uh, decides to go into Hoopa, now, our team doesn't really have a good Hoopa check, so I was kind of relying on Skarmory to do it, to be completely honest, and just whirlwind him out, be gone. Um, as he goes back and gets sent into his Aerodactyl, now we are uh, bulky enough meant to take on this Aerodactyl. So what I could do is I could just go ahead and roost up and eventually whirlwind him out. Um, I'm not really scared about this Aerodactyl at all because I know I can beat it 1v1. So I'm just going to continuously roost up until I'm at a good chunk of health. He decides to Aqua Tail, I'm assuming predicting um, the Donphan switch in as it would take the Fire Fang, obviously, a little bit better than Skarmory. Um, but Skarmory is meant to take on this thing, so I'm not afraid to keep it in. Um, as I get back up to basically full and Whirlwind and about, he gets sent out into his Infernape, which is unfortunate. Um, I cannot stay in on Infernape, obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my Dodfan, which was meant to take on Infernape as best as it could. As he clicks Close Combat, does get a crit. Um, is a little unfortunate, but it's okay because I know he can take another Close Combat. He has Scarf, he's not Life Orb or anything like that. So with my Calx, I knew I could take another one, so I wasn't as afraid of it. I do rap decide to Rapid Spin away my rocks on my side of the field. As he sends in his Electros, and I'm going to go ahead and send back in my Charizard. Again, knowing he can't really do a whole lot to me. Now this time, instead of setting up in its face, I'm just going to go ahead and click Dragon Claw, which does bring him down to a, a very low amount of health as he decides to Volt Switch out. He does get a crit on the Volt Switch, which again is not as important. You guys will see later, but it is unfortunate, I guess. Um, as he gets sent out into his Gliscor, now uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the aggressive play, or aggressive-ish play, figuring he would want to set up rocks or defog away my rocks, and I'm going to go ahead and roost up and get uh, Charizard back up to a good chunk of health, and now knowing that I am not afraid of basically fearing an earthquake, I do want to go into Skarmory, but figuring he would just set up rocks, I want to get my rocks back up, it's going to be very useful for the likes of that Infernape and that Scolipede and that uh, Aerodactyl. So keeping up rocks is going to be a priority of mine. And again, he gets sent out into his Hoopa, which I just had to whirlwind out. There's nothing I can do about it. He gets sent out into his Electros, which will die to rock switch in. So I believe technically Skarmory does get that kill. Uh, but the th unfortunate thing about Electros coming in and not say something like Scolipede, um, he gets the free switch in because Electros does drop. So he's going to go ahead and go into his Infernape. And because I did take that crit with Donphan earlier, I cannot comfortably take another Earth, uh, close combat. So I decided to sack off my Skarmory, which would have actually been very, very helpful for this game. 
but it's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into my mana feed to revenge the infernate. Click surf. He decides to go into Hoopa, and I just get to go ahead and click signal beam. I am faster than Hoopa, and he will drop to that. So in comes the Gliscor. Now, this is a roll a little bit. Um, I do click surf. I don't want to set up tail glow quite yet. I am carrying tail glow this week um, for a another reason. I didn't want to set up quite yet. I felt like I could take out the surf or the Gliscor with just the surf. But um, that is not the case. He does live the surf and uh, is able to defog away rocks and brings in his Scallopede. Now he does set up a Swords Dance here with Scallopede and I don't really have a better move other than clicking Surf because my Skarmory, which was my Scallopede answer, does un is unfortunately dead. Um, and I will not live at plus two Mega Horn. And basically I need a crit with Ice Shard Donphan. Like that's the only way I win this game. I don't have the resources to take on Scallopede at this point because Skarmory went down. Um, unfortunate set of circumstances. I should have played a lot better with Skarmory, for sure. Uh, played a lot smarter around the Hoopa, but uh, it's nothing can be done about it at this point. So I'm not worried about it now. I'm looking forward for the future. We will have a rematch against Ash in Week 10, but uh, it's this game. the rest of this game is basically just going to be Scallopede killing me with Earthquakes. Um, my team can't stand up to it at plus 2. Obviously, I don't outspeed it anymore because it keeps getting those speed boosts. So it's just going to be one thing dropping after another. Uh, I will wait for for Zerkatree to go down to officially <clears throat> close out this battle. So uh, that wasn't ideal. That's not what we wanted to happen. So we will, after starting off 1-0 and plus 5, we have dropped now to 1-2 uh, and two plus 1, I believe. Um, which is less than ideal, but that's okay. We still have a chance to bounce back our season. We have a chance to make playoffs nonetheless. It is only week 4 coming up, so we have uh, plenty of opportunity. But anyways... Uh, good game to Ash. He played very well. Uh, definitely looking forward to the rematch. I will play a lot differently, I, I, I think and I hope, and build a lot differently. So uh, definitely looking forward to it. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, a like and a subscription would be much appreciated. Next week, we take on Point Blank and his Portage Hurt Years, which uh, will be a definitely very interesting matchup. So anyways, that is going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one later.